Okay, so today is 33 out of 40 day fasts, out of my 40 day fast. And I believe that today will be the last video um, that I will be making uh, with an update or even uh, with a word because um, God has prepared me to isolate myself for the last seven days of this fast. So um, he has given me a word to leave you guys with and um, yeah so let's just let's pray thank you Heavenly Father for thank you for your grace thank you for your power thank you that you've gotten me thus far thank you Lord for each of these people that have been supporting praying that have been inspired that have been by your by your purpose for this these videos Lord for these for this walk father um, I pray that they be strengthened father I pray that it meet, meet your word meet every heart that it was in, that that's intended for I pray father that your church just rise Lord willing vessels rise those that are called rise sanctify yourselves before the living God I pray that we be strengthened and edified by the power of your Holy Spirit I pray and declare that we will walk in the edification in the in the te in the sanctification we will walk in discernment in knowledge and wisdom we will walk in the power of your healing we will bring, bring, give sight to the blind. We will preach the gospel of peace for your glory and for your kingdom, Lord. May your church be strengthened. May they receive this warning. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. So the word that the Lord has um, brought forth has come from Isaiah 6, verses 8. 13 so it says also I heard the voice of the Lord saying whom shall I send and who will go for us then I said here I am send me and he said go and tell this people keep on hearing but do not understand keep on seeing but do not perceive make the heart of these people dull and their ears heavy and shut their eyes lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and return and be healed. Then I said, Lord, how long? And he answered, until the cities are laid waste and without inhabitant and the house houses are without a man and the land is utterly desolate. The Lord has removed men far away and the forsaken places are many in the midst of the land, but yet a tenth will be in it and I will and will return to be for and will return and be for consuming as a terebinth tree or as an oak whose stump remains when it is cut down so the holy seed shall be a stump church we are already going through this right now as we speak with everything that's going on with what god is has ordained to go on with all that the is happening within the earth right now. We are actually seeing this pass. Keep on hearing, but do not understand. Keep on seeing, but do not perceive. This is the world as we see it. This is the church as we see it. We see everything that's going on. We see what God wills and we're not, we're not perceiving. We're not hearing spiritually. We're not listening spiritually. Our hearts are not perceiving what he wills for us, even as a church, to do. He's made our. He's made the hearts of the church dull. Even the world. The, the world is already. It's already without God. Without the Holy Spirit, they cannot understand. They cannot perceive. They have been blinded by the lusts and the desires of their own heart. But even the church are experiencing this. For their hearts have become dull, their ears heavy and their eyes shut, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart. Return and be healed. Now is the time to return and be healed. Now is the time to rise up as willing vessels, to, to consecrate ourselves and to seek the will of God. That we may bring the remnant to him. 
that we may, may remain as the stump. The cities are being laid waste right now with the havoc that's going on in the world. Without inhabitants, houses are being left without man. Look at the wars, look at right now what's going on, this is happening. The Lord has removed men far away and forsaken places. Yet a tenth will be in it and will return and be for consuming as a terebinth tree or as an oak tree whose stump remains. So the holy seed shall be its stump. This is heavy on my heart, church. With the world and what's going on in the world right now, this should be heavy on everyone's heart. The Lord has brought forth a shakening that only the unshakable shall remain. And there is still so much more to come. Heed the Holy Spirit. Preach the gospel of truth to the lost. Open the eyes of the blind. Heal the sick. Cast out demons in the name of the Lord for the glory in the kingdom of the Lord. Let's make his business our business. I pray that this fast and these testimonies, uh, these updates, aside from his prophetic word, his word, if, if he declares me to speak it, I speak it. Doesn't matter what anybody thinks about that. That's his word and he has declared it and I walk in obedience with that. But. I pray that all else that I've updated on here, I pray that everything that I've been transparent with has brought someone hope. Um, I will isolate myself for the next seven days as he's requested, so I will not be on here. But I thank you guys deeply. I thank all of you who have supported me through this. God bless you guys. I leave you with a blessing. Lord, I pray for a fresh anointing of your Holy Spirit for each person that hears this message, no matter when they hear it. I declare that your Holy Spirit, Father, fill them with the fire, Lord, and the zeal to walk before you, Lord, as in the fullness of the calling that you've set before them. I bind upon their heads your purpose to be fulfilled completely in their life. I declare their land cleansed, their mind cleansed, their bloodline cleansed by the blood of Christ. I declare that they will be lights in this dark world, that they will bring nations unto you, Lord. I pray that your church will be strengthened, will be equipped, and will walk in the power of your spirit, Lord. This is our authority, this is our inheritance. We declare and decree this. We decree your promises over our lives. We walk in faith and we declare in advance that every prophetic word that you've spoken over our lives we shall see to come to pass. I destroy in the name of Yahweh all deception, all fear, all worry, all anxiety, all lies, all pride, all arrogance, all unbelief, all rebelliousness, I destroy it and reverse it to into his camps in the name of Yahweh right now. Bring forth confusion, Holy Spirit. Bring forth your destruction into the camp of the enemy, Father, that what he intends for his church will not prevail. Glory to you, Jesus. Holy, holy, holy are you, Yahweh. We lift up your name, we bless you. We thank you, Lord God, Father, amen.